Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, welcome to today's, which is going to be a sit down one. Now, I haven't done one of these in so, so long because, well, I haven't felt the need to. The last time I should have made one of these videos, I didn't. And I ended up bottling up all my emotions inside for so, so long and breaking down. And you guys saw that video. Uh, it's, I, don't, I don't really want to make the same mistake again. So in my last video, I said a few things and I'm creating this video on the basis of how I was feeling then. Not quite fully understanding my full emotions and like what I was actually going through when I created that video. I've since come to realize that I'm kind of feeling a little bit lost in my life in all aspects really. And you know, I'm not feeling the best. So essentially, I feel like I'm in this cube and the cube every single day is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I'm just kind of cramping up inside of it and I can't escape. It's a weird feeling, I've never experienced it ever before and so it really took me a lot to come to the terms with the feeling of lost and that's what I've kind of grouped as because I don't think I'm depressed, I'm generally like a happy person and like really, right now I feel pretty on top of my life but I have this overwhelming feeling of just being lost in what I am right now. Now, I don't really understand why I'm feeling this way because as I said earlier, I feel pretty on top of everything. So it's really, really strange that I'm feeling lost, but like literally every single day I am. And it reminded me of when I first came to terms with my first ever depression when I was 15. I, I was depressed for the first time. I had no idea it was called depression until I started like crying to my English teacher and she noticed I wasn't okay. And then we kind of found out that I was actually depressed. First time I ever experienced that, and I feel the same way now, not with depression, but just with like feeling lost, and it's my first time coming to terms with this emotion, and like, I don't want to keep it bottled up, because last time, as I said, I broke down. When I look back on old memories of how things were two, three years ago, I reminisce and think those days were a lot better than they are currently. This feeling of lost is kind of brainwashing my brain, tricking it into thinking that things were better and things are not as good now or whatever, when in reality it's the opposite. I remember two, three years ago, I was chasing all these goals. I, I really had aspirations. Fast forward two, three years, I know my old self, I've achieved those aspirations. My old self would have wanted what I have today. I don't know what the expression is. It's like when you spend your whole time chasing a goal, you get there and once you get there you don't know what your next decision is kind of thing and I think that's where I'm in the bubble now feeling trapped because I don't know where to go that's a really good way of explaining it I know exactly what I want from the top of the hill to get even to a bigger hill if that makes sense I know it's not like I don't know which direction to take it's like I'm taking that direction but I have so many like lanes to take so many things I want to focus on in life and there's new opportunities arising all the time. I just don't know which lane to take, which lane to prioritize to get to that next point. I know the point, there's just a thousand roads leading off. When you have so many choices, you feel overwhelmed and you don't know which one to prioritize. And I, I guess it makes you feel trapped in this box. You really, really, really want to achieve so much. You want to achieve your goals, but you end up not picking a lane at all and just sitting there all day doing nothing and being really unproductive, unfulfilled and that sense of being lost when in reality you know is you it's feeling lost but not feeling lost. Like I know you know where to go, you need you know you the things you need to do. There's just too many things and you just get overwhelmed and lost in the choices. This could be with work and everything. Mainly I'm, I'm on about personal goals, not really materialistic things, but one of those lanes that I want to take is spending more time with my family and obviously this pandemic has taken that opportunity away from us, like so many of you guys out there as well. Those other lanes are business, financial, personal goals, well-being, happiness, YouTube, etc. But this one, like family for example, I really can't see my family, the sense of if I just was able to take a flight and visit my family, I would be so, so happy and not feel lost in that avenue. 
but I can't because and that, that lane then stays open and it's another route to take that's lingering on my brain every single day. Now, I made the decision to move across the country so I can't really complain. Um, often at these big decisions I don't really think about at all. In fact, the, the things I should really care about I don't care too much about and I just do it. That's something natural to me. I just always do that and lately it's been really like coming to terms with like actually what I've done. Um, I'm like sitting in this house in Canada and it's gone like that in the blink of an eye and like I just feel like I've blinked and I've got here and not really taking in every moment at all. Like literally just ignored it. Just let whatever happened happen and it all comes flooding into this day where it's I'm not now sitting here like completely overwhelmed. And when new challenges arise, there's obviously gonna be emotion with that and it's important for me and anyway not to let that bottled up. So whatever I'm rambling on about right now, it's important to me because if I kept that inside I would be in a bad position six months down the line. Talking about being more open, it's something I've been doing on my YouTube channel lately and you guys seem to be loving it. Um, it's really a dream come true for me anyway to be able to create the content I want to create. It just takes another lane out of the equation for me because biggest stress was trying to please everyone and it's really impossible. So the problem that used to arise is living a life for the title and thumbnail which seems crazy for the majority of people out there but if you're like this person online that creates YouTube videos, often your life can literally just become whatever that title and thumbnail is going to be, whatever's going to get that person to click on your video and watch it and hopefully enjoy it and watch it all the way through and enjoy another one after when YouTube promotes another of your videos to them. Without that title and thumbnail, you guys are not going to click on the video and it becomes a vicious cycle of you not enjoying your life, you, got, you don't have a life anymore. Whatever your life is, is literally just for that thumbnail and just for that title which is a word on a screen that gets someone to click on it, which is stupid because you only get one life. And again, that's another lane that's been crossed off for me because I've been doing what I want to do and the fact that you guys are enjoying it just means the world to a deeper level that I can actually enjoy my life again because um, it got to a point where I just couldn't and I broke down a lot and I just didn't know which direction to take. I wanted to quit YouTube and I'm glad I didn't and you guys really kept me here. Stick to my vlogging and what I want to create and just post it, you know, and, and, and you guys, as I said, I'm grateful that you enjoyed that and like to see our life. Now I just create a video and when I edit it and I, I click upload, I'm like, fuck, what's the title and thumbnail going to be? Okay, let me just go back through the video and just, you know, pick out the most relevant thing that, you know, happened in the video screenshot something from the video and just bang that's the title and thumbnail and that's just you know that's just makes me it's just raw it's authentic and it's just good that's just what it is now, right now and i'm just glad that the majority of you guys out there are just like freaking tuning into that video and it just makes me so happy um yeah i've come to a realization that yes i'm feeling lost but what i said in that last video about being present has just made me feel so much better that Technically, this video doesn't have to go up on YouTube and it doesn't really apply to how I'm feeling two days later. This video is probably going to be relevant to me in the future. It's also going to be relevant to a lot of people out there that haven't had that click yet of being present and feeling calmer and happier. That's why I'm creating this video and that's why the notes are there because it helps me remember my feelings two days ago and how the emotions I was feeling then before fully realizing how I felt and the feeling of loss because when I did understand the emotions I was going through, really fucked with my brain a lot more. And as soon as I figured it out, I could, you know, be present again, which is great. So guys, I just want to end today's video by saying how grateful I am for every single one of you guys out there. Like, the outroaring amount of positivity flowing through my body right now is because of you guys and just the gratitude for you guys is just out of this world. All your support, comments, follows, DM this like the feedback you guys give me the, on, and the support on this channel and everywhere on my social platforms is outrageous. I read your comments, I read your DMs, you, you're all 
like truly amazing and I can't, I can't thank you enough for coming on this journey with us and I'm just a normal person, I just want to put out content that's true to me I want to show you guys my life with my amazing partner and you know, you guys are going to be with us for the rest of our lives together and like it's exciting and trust me the next year me and Nick, our lives are going to get insane just the shit we had planned uh, and I just, I know you guys are going to be there and I can always like kind of post a video like this and come chat with you and talk in the comments in our DMs and you know feel connected and you know you have no idea how much that helps me out I know I get these comments about helping you guys out saving your life and helping you come out come to terms with yourself and just everything else in between as well and just want you guys to know that you helped me out stupendous amount as well so um just thank you yeah before I get too emotional I'm just gonna end today's video and I'll see you in the next one bye